video games have come a long way. Barring COVID-19, 2020 has been a massive year for gamers the world over with the launch of the new generations of the PlayStation and Xbox. Despite this, we always find ourselves finding for the good old retro games. Perhaps it's because of the sense of nostalgia that they bring, or maybe simply due to the fact that the focus seemed to be on fun more than anything else back then. You'll be happy to know that your Raspberry Pi is more than capable to run these retro games. And in this video, we'll show you how to do just that. For this project, we'll need a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card, and a card reader. To actually play games, you may use a keyboard or a standard gamepad. Finally, you'll need another computer for the initial setup. Alright, so to start off, we will need an image writing tool. We will use Raspberry Pi Imager in this tutorial, as it will make things simpler down the road, but feel free to use any app of your choice. We'll have a link to download it in the description. With your micro SD card connected to your computer via the card reader and Raspberry Pi Imager installed and opened, click on Choose OS and scroll down to RetroPie. Since we have a Raspberry Pi 4, that's the one we're selecting, but you should pick the one that's appropriate for your Raspberry Pi. Then, select your SD card and start the writing process. You may then plug your micro SD card back into your Raspberry Pi. Just in case you're not using Raspberry Pi Imager as your image writing tool, you can obtain the pre-built RetroPie image from their download page. The link will also be in the description. But again, make sure that you identify the version corresponding to your Raspberry Pi and download that one. Okay, let's fire up our Raspberry Pi. And the first thing we'll be required to do is to set up our input device. This can be your keyboard or a gamepad if you have one. With that out of the way, we can proceed to transferring ROMs to your Raspberry Pi from another machine. If you're connected to your local network via an Ethernet cable, you should be good to go. Otherwise, navigate to the Wi-Fi setup and you can connect your Raspberry Pi to your network from here. Now, you can copy over ROMs from your other machine like so. First, open the file explorer and enter double backslash RetroPie in the address bar. Navigate to the ROMs folder and then to your console of choice. Finally, paste in the ROM file. All we need to do now is head back to our Raspberry Pi. Press on the menu or start button, quit and restart emulation station. And the game should hopefully show up. Yep. There it is. And that's all for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy revisiting your good old childhood games with your Raspberry Pi. There are several other ways to add ROMs and install RetroPie, which you might find useful if you'd prefer to do it on top of your existing Raspbian installation. Let us know in the comment section below, leave a like and subscribe if that's something that you'd like to see. Cheers!